And I think we're getting a. Um, I think we're getting a platoon brief here very it shortly. The human centipede. Actually, we are probably actually getting a real platoon brief here for Russia, so we get to hear a little bit of the plan. All right. I'm gonna go start with the platoon. Yep. Here we go. Gather around. The Praetorian gather around. guard have arrived. Alrighty, fellers. Uh, the, uh, the militia, uh, they're gonna die. Okay, so, uh, here's how we're gonna do it. They could be in one of five locations. I'm marking that now with the five markers. So you guys ready to go on a moment's notice? Uh, sure. Those okay, are the, we'll the get, positions we'll of, uh, for, we're still trying to clear possible militia, locations. But I'm thinking, like, a 36 start time. Okay. Make it 35. How we're gonna do this? We're uh, we're gonna get one BTR. That's gonna be in Silas's squad. We're gonna drive over to the overpass, get some intel, and then they're gonna back off. We don't want them sitting there forever, or else they're gonna get hit by SVGs and lats. And so just get that intel, get that recon, and then back off the overpass. Myself and Spy are going to dismount the first skull marker, and we're gonna clear that town um, as the path shows. And then once that southern uh, town is cleared, we are going to. Get a mortar fob set up on that fob marker. Uh, while that's happening, Stalker's also going to be clearing the western town with the western skull marker. Um, so once they're cleared there, they can, you know, set guys here, they can set guys here, you know, somewhere like that. Getting ready to push across that red south. Uh, and then while this is going down, Blackbird's squad is going to take a transport. They're going to stick on the east side of the map. They're going to dismount somewhere here. And then they're going to follow those markers, clearing out Coyote Ridge as Stalker and Spy clear out uh, west to east. And then hopefully we're going to flush them out and then hit them together, finding out where they are. Any questions? No. Go ahead and listen to your SLs and start loading up these vehicles. What are we taking? Uh, spy, load up with me. That's why. Alright, so a fairly straightforward plan there for Russia. Uh... They're going to hit the highway. They're going to dismount near the overpass. And then, you know, north to south, just walk yeah. around. We are briefing on the militia side. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can listen uh, into that. With, uh, Apparently the local farm people have from the enlisted the militia to help them We're gonna have against the Russians. Ronan squad. Here on the point proper, spread out in the uh, trench. Please do not skyline to the northeast. That might get you killed by a uh, possible BTR-80 that the Russians uh, have. Storm Squad's going to be out on the five mark. Uh, he'll see fit where exactly in those trenches guarding the eastern side. Uh, is it Revy or Sugar? Revy. If Sugar makes it back, it'll be Sugar. Squad will be down on the five marker in Juliet's 11. Maybe with a uh, fire team uh, just north in the little shack. My mark is working. There we go. And Juliet 1054. But I'll leave that up to uh, Revy's discretion. Uh, Slough is going to have the rocket technical and the disco technical. And he's going to be with me. And we're going to go over to uh, the little farm in Foxtrot 98 and do some scouting on the west uh, to see if the Russians are going to be coming perhaps from that direction. Once we know where the Russians are attacking from, then obviously expect to maneuver. All right, any questions? Alright guys, listen to your squad leaders, your FTLs, and have fun. Squad leaders, break them out. Let's do it, boys. Alright. Got a little listening to Malicious Plan. Taking a look at the position here the militia are going to be deploying in. We got about a minute, minute and a half to go, less than a minute and a half. Looks like we're seeing a, a rocket technical and a dishka. They got HMGs and their mortar up already. They got a lot of building going on. I haven't checked in, actually taken a look over there, but oh boy. Yeah, they got a lot of building. 
No, you just die then. And Russia getting set to go here. We got about 50 seconds to live for round one of Operation Arrowhead. Everybody's getting sent. Now, and this is going to be really, really hard for uh, Russians to to push that mortar fob. Because the militia has the high ground, they have the trees, they have the low ground as well. So they can uh, do ambushes and stuff. Well, so I, think the, I think that's true. It depends on how long Russia can keep their BTR up. If the BTR stays alive for a long time, there's a real good chance that militia are going to lose several people trying to take that out and uh about five seconds away from live so that's where the uh, engineer kit comes in <laughs> rolling start from sebi and the lodgy and uh we're live with a round one of operation arrowhead Sebi uh, believes he's obviously invincible as uh, platoon command. But realistically, I don't think it's... On this map, I don't think it's, you know, reasonable to expect contact until about five minutes in. Or maybe about two minutes in, really, if everyone's moving. But the Dishka and the Rocket Technical are going to move out to Fox 9. So I'm assuming Militia are just going to use that to... Uh, Set up a screening force. So basically, if you decide that you want to start firefighting somebody, I will leave you for dead. Alright, that's too much. The HMG can end up like, if we have to, we can just shoot down the sandbags with the HMG. And militia oh. moving out here. Primarily, I want it looking up that way. But come with me real quick. I'm gonna go scout something. Yeah, it looks like they're getting those techies in position. They have a great overview of the entire map. So they should be seeing these guys pop up over on the uh, yeah. on the overpass. Because guess what? Uh, Russia are here now. Matter of fact, uh, Russia BTR drops off. Uh oh. Silas. Yeah, if you think that's a good spot, command's okay with it. Here at the overpass. Uh, the BTR is going to set up here, get security deployed. They're going to take a look around and see what they can see up on top of this overpass, I imagine. Militia has eyes on Russians over bridge right now. From Londar's position. All right, so Fox 9 can see all the way. That's a good two kilometers. Depends on which Russians he's looking at. Of course, uh, from here... Yeah, he, he's got great eyes. And the BTR is huge anyways. It's hard to not see it. Russian infantry moving in all across the road. They're moving down into the the villages. I've lost some of them. Oh no, I just haven't lost them. They're just in front of me. Commanders. Yep, go ahead. No visual on contacts on the high ridges. We're rolling the BTR for it a little bit to get eyes on the depth of it. Blackbeard's on his uh, flank mission, so, you know, everyone's going out. Blackbeard's actually on the round now. Just got out of his transport. He's going to cross the road here in uh, Papa 9, cross over to Oscar Tent. And they're going to start moving out. I guess this is more or less the you can, you can, you can speed, the reserve squad. You can see this, like, uh, depression south of this east-west road. Russia clearing building to building here, just making sure they're not going to come up against any unexpected, any uh, surprise attacks. Yeah. A little bit of a warm up too, even though 
uh, I heard from someone reputable that the point of this operation is to have <laughs> things in the in the wilderness. But you know, getting your guys hyped up by a little bit of building clearing. You know, and I think works. they know that they're safe right now because they're so much closer to the town than um, militia is from the start. Blackbeard is moving out. He's got his guys. Looks like they're heading across the road now. Had issues at the beginning before live. Copy. No respawning. Uh, do you have any? So Londards has spotted infantry in the town. The rocket technique. I Let's imagine he's see. gonna. Yeah, we can see some of. Them. He's got a good eye. He said he called out one or two squads, so that's that's a good. Yep. There's the entire. I mean, there's three squads worth of infantry in the town. So. He said Indian nine. That can't be right. Indian nine six nine. That can't be. Right. No, that that's. Call. He slipped his nine. For, he slipped his uh, six for a nine. Well, he slipped his H for an I. <laughs> in the H line, it's pretty hard to see the the uh, enemy infantry from here. However, you might be able to see a sliver. If he gets eyes on this infantry, I wonder. I wonder how effective this rocket artillery is going to be because see, all the infantry it. are going from building to building. They're holding underneath. Hey, let's move down this, uh... Oh yeah, I see the enemy infantry. They're going through the woods. Some of them are going through the woods. Some of them are just in the middle of the open here. Yep. And then some of them oh, are holding next to buildings. Hotel seven five. That's a great call out. Hotel seven five makes sense. There's a fire team from Stalker Squad uh, led by the Snowfall who's moved up. All right, they're about to fire the uh, the rocket tech at these guys. Here we go. Just can see it coming from a distance here. Zero five five. Now everyone's moving. Looks like they're having some trouble. Should be okay. Just don't stand anywhere behind them. There we go. They, they may have crossed. They gotta estimate that range. Uh, I don't see them moving anymore. How far do we think that is? That's uh, three, four, seven hundred. Uh, yeah, just about seven hundred. There seems to be. I mean, usually there's a pretty simple one-to-one -one guide that comes with the rocket techie that allows you to basically set it. You know, X elevation equals Y range. Of course, that's if everything is equal, like your elevation is equal to the elevation of the target. Sometimes you got to factor in a little bit of a uh, difference there, but it's usually not much. Although rockets with away. this, rockets away, and I see them in there short. I mean, generally, not really that short. And guess what? Yep. Oh, those these are, guys think it's a uh, SBG. More rockets. Ooh, here we go. Some of the volley Wait. is hitting short. Yep, they call that a, you know. You know, a lot of it's hitting short now. But one of those rockets landed straight in the middle of the compound. Everyone was in cover here. But... I mean, there's five right here. Yeah, sorry, I got a bunch of good guys in my squad. All good. I think I could barely see with the rocket techie. All right, man up. You guys now, from where the rocket techie is, they can still see the BT. I don't want to sit in here for BT. I don't know if that BTR saw them. Well, 
if the BTR didn't see the rocket techie, it may, uh, well, I mean, it's so far away. You might the actually see the saw, people in the building. Yeah, the rocket techie saw the BTR, but I don't know if the BTR saw the rocket. So right now it looks like Lon and his guys are moving away to an unknown location. Be yeah, north. repositioning makes sense here. Yeah. They want to get more ammo if they can, which they should. Meanwhile, Blackbeard has moved about uh, 600 meters now from his uh, from his transport, and uh, he's moving along. He's got himself a potential elevated position here. No contact. He might have some pretty good eyes on the uh, outpost here in Kilo 10 very soon. It is what it is. It's all right. We got a lot of more machine guns, I think. Yeah. I'm ready to flank you. Okay. Two moving out. I would go. I would go north across the road when you're in Wemo 11, and then go west to Kilo 11. Okay. So instead of crossing the field here, north, then over. Which makes a lot of sense. You can see looks, here, we can see the emplacements, but we can't see the people that are there yet. But we'll get over there in yeah. just a second. So it looks like they're waiting for that BTR to get in position. It looks like they might be still waiting. Uh, I think it looks like they might just go on a single file line and push all at once. They are definitely waiting for something. Yeah, the forces in the north definitely want to be because I don't think they have an idea of where the enemy play the enemy base is. Correct. Copy. We're just holding security while we wait to get the mortar fob. Yeah, we're not seeing anything either down here. It's a pretty uh, it's a pretty spread out base though. It's, it's the first time we've it seen is. it. What are they? Uh, what are they saying in local comms and command comms? Right now, it's generally quiet. It's not like I'm not in a squad. I can hear them from time to time. It seems to be generally more local command going on. Everyone's just waiting to get in position so they can push south. Yeah. Same with me. No, no command comms so far. Looks like. Oh, look at this! Places. Blackbeard is actually pretty close to contact here. He doesn't know it, but he's passing to the south of a squad lead. More. He's getting through the defensive perimeter because of the depression he has here. And Blackbeard has no idea because the hill also covers these guys up too. So you can see Blackbeard, his squad is coming up this hill. It's a pretty steep grade right over top. Oh, no. You can see militia forces looking west. So, uh, mission accomplished. This is your nightmare. They need 360 security right here. And they yeah. do not have. And judging from the map, the only 360 security they have is from the rear at the fire base, at the strong point itself. Uh, Some people who are next to the mortar are actually looking behind Storm's uh, position here. Yep. And very shortly, it will become apparent oh. that the enemy are right in front of them. They are crossing the road, it looks like. Yep. <laughs> they are going to get a heck of a, an awakening. They're going to keep pushing west, so they're not intended to go straight north here, but they're covering the road. Okay, maybe they're yeah, just going to hold This is a here. big oversight by uh, I think and, they just got lucky, what? too. Because, I mean, yeah. how far away do you want to push your guys? Especially since you've already pushed some so many of them so far away, and you've written off a whole squad. Because they're, because they're part of this uh, vehicle ambush, look, at the vehicles are actually going around to the south right now. They're just passing Mill, Maine. All right, let's go. No militia have eyes on this. 
and it hasn't quite come up the chain of command for you uh, for Russia <laughs> yet. Blackbeard is he doesn't know it, but he's in the best position he'll be in for this round. See what we can see from this angle. Yeah, I mean you can see they have no idea. Looks like they're uh, wow. almost getting to radio. Now they have the high ground. Yeah, so actually Blackbeard's kind of freaking out because he just received word from his BTR crew that apparently west of two, there's an enemy squad moving towards them. So they're going to find some defensive positions real quick. And also, I'm thinking there's a lot of direct SL to SL communication going on here for Russia because there's a lot of uh, squads directly communicating with each other to coordinate. Uh, can I get a guy with, guy with binocs looking at that house? Blackbeard playing it very carefully here. He's got his guys spread out. He's got about a, he's probably got about a 60 meter line right now. No, he's got a, like a 200 meter line right now. I'm bad. Blackbeard actually. And he's got some. Okay. Blackbeard uh, has some good soldiers as well. Good. Uh, just a, Blackbeard's on. just gonna walk up here. Uh, and then we're gonna try and sweep into and uh, get eyes on this contact in Novo. I wonder how Blackbeard's gonna react when he sees uh, when he sees fortifications. Uh, if he turns due north, if he turns three five. Let's see what he's there doing. Was a, there was a call out to the uh, BTR Kilo 617. That's pretty accurate. From his position, Blackbeard's not going to see. Like, if he's an eagle eye, he might see Liberal. No, actually, I think Liberal's on the other side of the hill, so he won't see him. He might actually see Fight Milk. He's popped up. Fight Milk's popped up over here to his if he, left. If he turns left. There we go. Yeah, now he's looking at the right clock. direction. No. Nah. He needs to turn left. So with him, he's looking over here. He's got to look down just a little bit. Is that an ND? I thought that was a person. Oh well, my god, just, I thought uh, I really was a person. Liberals part of this defense here on the point, and uh, from all indications, public execution later. Yeah, liberals yeah. directly on the Go point ahead. here. He's Morning. the medic for Morning. his squad. Morning. His part, his yeah. fire team's all around him. He's got modern death Morning. to his northwest, yeah. serving right to his southeast, and fight milk. His fight milk. His um, FTL is running around next to one of the HMGs. I think he's just looking. Uh, just yeah, and like Blackbeard, Blackbeard is reporting that in D. Uh, yeah, yeah. It looks like Blackbeard is sending a fire team west, possibly to the town. And Blackbeard's not going to have eyes on this, but Jive is... If Jive doesn't see this, I mean, at this point... I mean, at this point... It doesn't matter that they they fly. Here's the problem, like And he's pulled his squad back because command has just told oh, him to no. heal an iron. <laughs> so oh, like man. I I'm so confused. Like he sees everything, but he didn't actually see anyone. He sent his guys up and they didn't actually see anyone. Oh, hold on. So, for, yeah. So, f right here. No, they're oh, pushing. Okay, the so Londar, Londar is telling Storm to look to his west. He's asking if he has eyes on his west. Which, of course, and the answer is no. No. Let's see what Storm does about this. I mean, if Storm can uh, see these guys running, that would be a miracle. Seems like no Storm one has may eyes. Be AFK. Is operating. No, Storm's not AFK. Oh, well, he's not. He's he's. Uh, it's been like about a minute since, Lon and Lon's asked three times to. 
Oh no. Contact him. I don't know. Something's up. So Blackbeard pulled off the point. And he's got his guys. They're moving towards the uh, town here in Juliet 11 for reasons. I don't know. They were looking at the objective, and now they're not. They want to get a little bit more eyes on the uh, main route. I guess they want to support. Uh, I mean, this is a net loss play, right? They're going to they're going to have problems when they start pushing east again. If any of you did uh, CQB, then use what you learned. Obviously, oh. Blackbeard doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be in chat later, going "do," and he's going to be right. trying his best Simpsons impression. Lon, Lon, I believe has spotted the has spotted. He asked Storm if anyone was running running west in his squad, and he said no. Huh. So he thinks they may be in the town. He said K1172, that is literally 20 meters east of squad 2. Yeah, I mean... Sounds like they've they've got... Storm's going to run over here, and with a fire team size element, he's going to be like, oh, wait, there's a whole squad here, and they don't see me yet, because <laughs> no one has rear security right now, or Blackbeard's element. No one has rear security. And Blackbeard is continuously pushing west here. He's got his guys going into buildings. You know, that might help. I See, mean, I wonder Lon if... Is I wonder right if now, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, where Lon is right now, this is where he should have been in the beginning, or at least... Because they are south of Storm, and they would have caught Black right off the bat. You see, I mean, yeah. I think if they're going to use the Rocket Techie for any real use, I think you got to move it out. Yeah, further north. But this is a good second deployment place because you can just you can just burn your own house down if you think you're going to get overrun. Now Blackbeard's moved this guy's in. Russia's starting to move out. They're sending fire teams forward to help probe a uh, path in for the rest of everyone else. A lot of people are moving. Um, south of the 7 Highway, the 7 East West Highway. Meanwhile, in the south, Blackbeard is reconsolidating position. I'm not entirely sure which direction they're going to go next, but I imagine it's going to be west. Yeah, so right now, it looks like Blackbeard and, and Squad are going through house and house between fences and uh, trees. It looks like they're just holding, though, in that position. Well, that's I don't because know if they're going to pushing west. Two squads of Russian infantry pushing south. No oh, yeah, I see directly that. Directly south. So the close within 400 meters of a fire team that's got an elevated position. Oh, Blackbeard's going back to Coyote Ridge. This is bad news. It's going to cause a lot of problems. It's going to be multiple... Uh, and then Storm's pushing his guys back we back east too. Or he never moved. <laughs> and then obviously like, you see something south of that, then Storm's actually there, so it's not like he's not it not only like we don't know if he's playing right now, because obviously he's playing. Yeah. But I mean I, I guess he's just come back here thinking, oh, oh well, never mind. I I do not know. Uh, looks like Lawn Darts is pushing oh. a little more. Lawn's got his infantry squad that's running the technicals back in, and mm -hmm. I think they're just going to run it up, run it up the road here, and do some mad, some mad lad uh, raids. You can see Blackbeard has his squad just defensive positions. They're on trees. They're in buildings. They're watching roads. They're really holding tight. Meanwhile, Russia closing closing in fast to the west flank. And BTR reporting the obvious over the radio, but does report fortifications in Kilo Ten. So.
<laughs> Black right, looks like he's up. Black contact east of me. What? Yeah, it looks. It looks like sloth and the tactical are gonna go right in it. <laughs> oh, rut row. Oh, they, uh, they turned off. Yeah. Oh man, this is the yeah, rocket too, So it sounds. I wonder if these guys hear it. No, they're gonna they're gonna bypass the town. They should they should be seeing this technical. No one's looking. Oh my god. Blackbeard, do you hear the vehicle? Yes. <laughs> Guess what? Let's get in the we house, got two. says Sam Subway Samurai. Ammo bearer for grunt. And Guess what Blackbeard's telling his guys right now? This fucking car is. Okay, I think the car is passing somewhere to the south of us in town. What is that? The exact location is either. Well, actually, he's passing a, something up to command right now. Yeah. Power or engine turned off, or it's moved south of us somewhere. Yeah, is that tanky up inside that? Money keeping close on to the uh, BTRs. BTR is actually making its way north, uh, south here. It's closed up to about 400 meters from this big intersection that is notorious. Meanwhile, insanity happening down here. Look at this nutso stuff. Just look at it. The tentacles are still here. They're not manned. Sloth is so like guys running around to buildings. It looks like Beware might, Beware's gonna might get, get killed first contact here. North. Actually, I wonder if I wonder if Subway and Grunt and uh, Dark Lord have. Uh, nope, close. never mind. That's not happening because guess what? Sub Dark Lord and Grunt are just going to run around. They're looking for a way to get out of the compound that they're in. So Beware might have some eyes here, along with uh, Cruza the Snafu. If Cruza looks north, which he is. Matter of fact, he's got a bipod deployed on the intersection. If foliage was no problem, he'd have a killing sh uh, shot on Cyclone right now. Beware running out to the road like a mad lad. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what he's is he doing? Crooning around. What, what is that? He doesn't have binocs. Oh. He can't see anything. Can okay, get here we go. Uh, Bartok's Bar going to have a shot Bartok. on him. Bartok. Oh, what is he doing? Subway opens up on Beware and that, I, about I half that. a magazine. Guess what? Beware's dead because he ran into contact. Uh, Subway called it out. half a magazine. Uh, Cruza finds another building and he's going to look more north now. Right now, I, if I were the Russian commander, I would be pushing my guys because Squad 3 and Squad 4 are going to be faced. Uh, they're going to be on Blackbeard most of the time. Doesn't look like they're looking north at all now. Blackbeard, yeah. Blackbeard is uh, telling his guys to spread out. He's sending buddy teams on either end. He wants them to yep. wrap around this contact. So Cyclone and Nova are doing exactly that here on the western side. Cruza got out of his window. He's on along his fence. It's like um, Frizzo and Mark maybe oh, getting. Cyclone's going to deploy here. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Yep. Cyclone and Nova are going to have a great position here if Cyclone realizes it and just puts his weapon down like in this ditch facing up the road or not because he's been told to, I think, go back and reconsolidate. Are we pushing across? He doesn't even know what he's doing right now. His fire team leader is right next to him. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And Cruza takes a few shots, but he whiffs every single one. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I think uh, Grunt and Dark Lord 04 getting shot at. Grunt and Dark Lord pushing in. Rocket oh, just flipped. A rocket. 
the, the, that was just a random rocket. Oh, Flicker's gonna have some shots on Grunt here. Bing! Oh, he's down. Good shot. That rocket was right in front of my camera. Were they shooting? That rocket looked like it went right straight up in the air, to be honest. Hmm. Could have been a, a glitch or something. Well, Dark Lord is now pretty much by himself. And Seppi doesn't want to really fight here. I've lost my medic. I don't think I can pull out east and I can't go west. So I can either go north, which takes us into potential enemy contact, or I can go maybe Put south. Oh, hey, right. guess what? Absolutely. Here comes the Dishka. Hold tight, copy. Julia 992 is the, the call out. Oh, yeah, Multiple that's. Squads, uh, I said. Yeah, that's two squads in the BTR very shortly. Yep. Yeah, we should probably take a look here <laughs> at what actually is going on in the north because it looks like Hawk and Atomic Peach are um, stuck. Oh, they will be stuck very soon. Oh, we got shots popping off. Looks like uh, Russians are getting hit. Yeah, I think I Hawk some just took a shot at uh, Seer Chest. So, uh, sled oh, hey, BTR. And, uh, oh, and Pony's in the turret, so if he doesn't get 10 kills, it will be a failure. <laughs> oh, there he oh. goes. Wait, what is he shooting at? Looks like he may be shooting at Tom. Yep, he's looking for Atomic. He is shooting at Atomic. But Atomic's so now got Defilade. Oh, here comes some mortars. So the Russians set up some mortars too? No, those are militia mortars. Wait. Yeah, he's got some. Okay, no, they're actually all the mortars. All the mortars are firing right now. Both sets of mortars are firing. Ooh, militia mortars wound four, but n they uh, don't get a kill. Where are they hit? The rocks. Oh, I see it. And oh yeah, they just hit. So them. militia. Oh, oh. no! Tinker. It was a... stinger that down, was, or those were, the really Russian, those were the Russian mortars. Oh no! So. Blue on blue. Oh, no. So I thought those were militia mortars at first, because I was like, not. damn, those are really good. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Hawk takes another hit at Uncle Niner here. And Uncle Niner has no bandages, question mark? No, he's just getting bandaged from Seer Chess right now. Meanwhile, Russia mortars retasked, and they're short of defensive oh and the rockets are overshooting too explosives everywhere right now actually then they're undershooting and overshooting everyone is yeah russia mortars on the militia main base are they're about 50 60 meters off yep Now, Lawn Darts' rockets are slowly getting on target here. I they're can't only, even find where they're hitting. They're only over. They're passing over the BTR, and they're landing. In, they're landing behind the BTR. He's still trying to range it, I think. Yep. Oh no! Okay, so now the rockets are a little bit further off. I just saw a rocket land uh, east of the BTR, quite a little bit more. They're actually flying over Elite. Oh. A Scottish chap. Did two guys just get hit. No, those are uh, dead guys. And the rockets are 
Still a little bit long. Arcing on the rockets are a little bit different than any other projectile in the game. Yeah, the Russians are starting to cross in the the west here. Tom McPeach and Hawk are about to get slammed by a full squad. Yeah, they found. I think they found the bang fire base just by using their ears. They're going to use the wood line to just go straight through. Yep. Sebi is still trying to coordinate with Blackbeard, though. Uh, not an NSA spy has running is running straight at Atomic Peach and and it looks like Peach is taking another one now. Yeah, I think Tinkerbell just died. Yeah, no, Tinkerbell was the uh, the. Uh... Team kill. Oh, that's right. You're right. Ooh, let's see what our time speed. Yeah. Uh, stand by, command. We have contact spotted at the radio tower. If you need them to pull back, they will pull back now. Oh, looks, looks like, like a few peach. guys and three got past. Yeah, it looks like Atomic Peach and Hawk are going to fall back here. That might be the little literal death of them. There goes Hawk. What a pose. Hawk literally... Oh, guess what? Uh, ID. Atomic Peach on his own. You might have Rambo it here. He's in music here, uh, looking for contact. Tom Peach is crawling around looking for a shot here, and music doesn't see him. Like, Tomic has a great shot here. Rocket's flying overhead. That one landed real close. Oh. <laughs> that one landed pretty close, though. Yeah, I think it hit it fire. Uh, yeah, I think. Copy three, stay in the move. See, those Rocky Techies, Rocky Techies aren't. They aren't doing much damage, but they are making them fall back. Which is the main objective. Octuple's so shaken, he's pushed out in the field. Yep. Zaki got hit, I think, a little bit. Well, you know, Rocket hits the. Uh, a rocket hits the uh, the tree. That's gonna be a problem. What is real prolix? Uh, okay, so real is gonna crawl through a field straight at the technical. I think he's just disconnected from. And Octavio's gonna do the same thing. And by the time they get there, the technical's gonna be gone. I don't know. The, the technical is pushing. Oh, the technical is just repositioning. Yeah. He's he's now Groot. Groot needs to just look north. Now, are That's the infantry he here to gonna? They might right in, run right into him. Actually, uh, so close. Okay. Well, uh, oh, let's see, we Zaki. Shot at. Zeki uh, runs, gets, uh, is able to stop uh, Flicker and uh, Groot here. There's a lot of shots at Flicker and his teammate, but none of them somehow. Oh, oh there we good, go. Grenades. Good rocket. Oh, the rockets. <laughs> wow. So that's about a uh, quarter of a salvo. Nope, he's going to fire some more here. So that's about half a salvo gone for Zaki. Meanwhile, Octuple Fire and Music and Real, Real Prolix are still climbing through. NSA actually get, eats a rocket right there. He's bleeding. 
Now, it, oh, okay, Lon isn't in this techie. That's a good thing. Meanwhile, let's check in on some of their action here. Uh, guess who? Blackbeard's dead. Or oh, he's not dead yet, but he's lost a fire team. Uh, he will die. I mean, he's surrounded. And he's he's surrounded and he's in the open. All he has is a bush. Storm is somehow alive on like 5 HP right now. The madman's done it again. I need you guys looking east. Oh, uh, the guys in the north. Techie's getting, east, getting uh, shot at. West. Looks like my pro uh, Cyclone, you can keep. You keep doing what you're doing. You know. Let's see if you see. Indian nine three four. No, oh, probably just yep, got he killed. Just called out. So With those probably... guys in the field got called out by a slot. Yeah. It doesn't matter because. They are dead. His music still stuck there. Rub a pelican and uh, looks like Groot and uh, Appleson are looking, looking west, looking for anyone doing the crazy trying to sneak through this field. Now they start searching. Now with all the problems on both sides. They seem pretty even in kills. We got 10 for Militia and uh, 8 for the Wait a Russian. second. Slev is... Nine. Slev and... Uh, Flicker just walked about 10 meters in front of Slev and you didn't see him. And not an NSA spy still not being able to see this. Slev is now crouch walking, so... You're not Slev, but... Uh, Flicker's crouch walking, so... Flicker doing the crazy... Actually, you can still see Flicker. Yes, yes. Right, Ronan's getting pushed really hard. Cross the road. Let's take a look at some other action because I think the you uh, Russia are starting to make a big push on the radio here. They got it surrounded by two sides. Liberals just died, and the BTR has found a uh, nice little bit of cover here in the form of some logs. And uh, Pony looking around. I'll tell you what, I, Ronan and his buddy uh, Fight Milk are a great spot. <laughs> they can see everything, but they're completely can. The BTR is going to roll around to the north side of the hill. He wants to try to get an angle on this uh, set of sandbags right here because I think Pony knows Flamio's around here. Ronan's lat just went down apparently. So that is not good. Well, Militia get one lap per squad, so... Yeah. Now the BTR is taking a heck of a risk by doing this. One lat in the side, and he's uh, he's toast. Yeah, but you know you got to be here to shoot at it, and I don't think anyone is. A peach is actually a lot, I think. Yeah, let's see. We got got an engineer. But I don't see. Uh, do the engineers have lats? I don't nope. believe they do. Yeah, peach is a lat. Is he? I'm pretty I thought sure he is. Engineer. Uh, he is no, he's an engineer. He's he an has engineer. the same backpack, so I'm just getting confused. Gotcha. Yep, he um, he had to come behind the, the BTR. Mr. Wilbur. Oh no, <laughs> well, he knows the BTR is there. Why? What is he doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, Mr. Wilbur now in defilade. Pony's just waiting for them to. And a peach just ran across too. Yeah, three hundred in the valley. Can, can he not? Oh no. The, the, the rise. Oh, Ooh. there goes Peach. I don't know what their thinking was. On well, I mean, what they should have done is just drop to the ground and stay in the field. I mean, from their area, you could definitely see the BTR. Russians closing in here. They're closing in on Ronan's position. Ronan and Fight Milk are bleeding. There goes Ronan. Ronan did. 
fight mill and he'll stabilize, but he's taking PKM fire. Militia kind of dropped the ball on this one, didn't he? Oh, hello, Dishka. Dishka right in the rear compartment. That's your nightmare. Uh oh. Oh, he says to reload. The BTR just threw an entire belt's worth of ammo into the uh, the dish gun. That was bad. It's smoking. That's some pretty serious damage there. And I wonder. Pony's saying nothing but turn left for like five seconds straight there. Oh, hey, your nightmare barely survives. Don't stop too easy. Your nightmare is just toying with them at this point. The 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 BTR is just hunting them. Okay. Pony wants a kill. And your nightmare gets a kill while all of this is happening. This is actually kind of ridiculous. And here comes the BTR again. Oh, a little bit too fast. <laughs> He's crawling around. Pony doing nothing but trying to chase this guy. So the BTR is occupied. He's got a he's got an M249. Man, it wouldn't be great if he could just shoot out the tires, but I think oh, it, it, it. he's got to move. Oh. <laughs> He's just going to kill the sandbags. Finally, Pony uses his brain. Here comes the smoke. So your nightmare now knows he's kind of screwed. He's going to throw a smoke on his position. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Russia, they got a fire team down south, losing leadership left and right, but they are in, in control of the objective area. Oh, Pony thinks he's dead. Oh, there goes the radio. And there goes the Dishka. So your nightmare is definitely screwed now. An elite just walks past your nightmare. He sees this big thing of smoke and he didn't throw it. And he, I guess he just wonders it's cool. So more kills for your nightmare incoming. And the BTR also th thinks he's gone too. Yep. Oh, BTR. Snakester is looking straight at this BTR. Well, he's dead now. Alright, let's go up there and kill him. Kills them and then commands his driver okay, let's go up there and kill him. All right. Uh, your nightmare is still alive, by the way. Music at Doobie Scoo uh, might get a little surprise here in about two seconds. Oh, no. Your nightmare wasn't looking. And with Russia overtaking, looks like a grenade coming in. A little far, but your nightmare stabilizes from a, a shot. 
It's just down to uh, your nightmare. It looks like maybe a rubber pelican. Uh, your elite shoots and misses a rocket over the top of your nightmare. Oh, does he have a shot on this guy? That would be tremendous. So Alita is sneaking around. Oh, Alita is so far away. So Rubber Pelican and Mankeys is also up too. Mankeys has himself a ridge line. I think the BTR might have called this out. He's got himself an M249. He's going to just continue to run around. He wants, some he wants some foliage before he gets into anything else. Rut row. NSA goes down. So set up and watch that direction. Looks like it might have been a trade. No, Pelican. Pelican gets NSA spy. Pelican just moving towards. He's got himself a PKM, I think. Yep. With, uh, who's this? Jannings is on a, uh, a sandbag. Might have a shot on Rep Pelican, but Pelican goes prone. So now it just comes down to how long will it take? Yep. Mankey's made his way in and Doobie Scoo is engaging. Mankey wants to throw a smoke. There we go. So let's just take a look at the round. Russia um, really winning it out when they needed to. They also weren't really contested coming uh, as they're clear. Oh, the BTR wants to kill. Look at this. Mankey's just... I think Mankey's tried to... Imp nope. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's just running at the BTR now. Nope, I think he's. Oh, there we go. There's he eats a frag rocket. Single contact behind four. Oh, Pelican's dead. I think we're actually done here. Because uh, that was Mankey's, right? Am I missing someone? No, I think we're done. Yeah, that's it. So, round one. A great win for Russia. They were able to get right up on the objective area. And in some cases, they didn't even know it or didn't really care. Or they just wanted to push something else. Regardless, it was an excellent job there by Russia Commander Sebi. Looking at 35 kills for Russia, 19 kills for Militia. A great, a great round. Just uh, hold on with us one more moment. We'll be right back with round two. You're on squad ups. Uh, mortar app. They only have 500 ammo for the lot for the mortar. But they get 1500 build for the mortar, so they can move it around. We're gonna go ahead and take a listen in to the Russia brief here by Londarts. We'll take a look at uh, militia situation here in a sec. Operation, Operation Arrowhead. Uh, good effort last round. Uh, we got overpowered there a little bit by their um, heavy vehicle, the BTR-80, but good news. We get to use that uh, particular Russian toy this round. Our plan is uh, fairly simple. We're going to have uh, the BTR-80 plus uh, Sloth Squad, who we we've, with me in the logistics vehicle, dismount in Echo 631. That'll be our first staging point for those two squads. Storm and Revy Squad will be uh, going to West Petrovka, dismounting, clearing out the town there, pushing south. 
the BTR squad will then uh, be the southern support for the BTR, while Sloth squad will be its northern support as we push east into the objective area. Marked with the skull and crossbones, uh, potential militia strongholds. This is really prime farming land, and uh, Mother Russia would like to take it for themselves to feed uh, its citizen. So our mission essentially is broken down in the following phases. We've got a scouting phase where we're just having a look around, see if we can spot where the militia are, where any forward forces they might have pushed out to. Uh, we're going to locate where their stronghold is. We'll then position for an assault on that, destroy it, and then defend it. Um, the skull and crossbones are the key points. Once we clear out India 8 and Juliet 8, if we haven't found we might reposition at that point to assault the other um, potential location. Any questions before we uh, get underway? All right, fantastic. Just one thing, guys. Uh, if you see any contact, just take the time to try and uh, gauge how far away it is, potentially what grid square it's in, and it's very important that it gets passed up the chain of command how many you see. All right, squad leaders, break them out. Have fun, guys. And my own truck Russia going to take a fairly long stroke, a unilateral movement across the map. Generally starting northwest, generally heading southeast. We also got to take a look at see where militia was going to spot in. Excuse me. They have uh, Kilo 9 selected as their stronghold. You can see two HMGs already deployed. You can also see they have an SPG technical, and it looks like a Dishka technical. So they're going to be hunting for this BTR right off the bat. The militia loadouts for each squad, it's one SL, two LMGs, one, la one medic. So only one person in the squad has binoculars. For the platoon, they get two mini machine guns and four engineers. Engineers have cool things like mines and IEDs. Uh, vehicles, they got three Lodgies. You can see the three Lodgie trucks here. One SPG right. technical and one in the other technical. And I believe that is a Dishka. It's either going to be... It was either going to be Dark Lord uh, yeah, or Samurai. Uh, you want me. Alright, so Dark Lord, get out. Dark Lord, get out. Yeah, there's a tape. Never mind, I gotta jump in the other gun. Taking a look at some, uh, yeah. taking a look at militia stacking up, getting ready to go here. Russia doing the same. They're getting their convoy in order, so to speak. The Charlie team. Charlie is going to basically cover the northwest of the point uh, across the road at the Julia 842 mark. The calm before the storm well oh, it's going to be an uphill fight the whole way and uh in the words of airborne we live baby we live words i will probably never say again on this channel btr bringing up the rear here And we're taking a look at, we'll see where those technicals are going to go. They're striking west pretty fast. The Dishka and then the uh, SPG behind it. Uh, we we'll take a look at the SPG falling behind. Blackbeard's running this vehicle squad, looks like. I would venture to say, based on where they're going, they're going to get some action. Because I think I remember hearing Fox Six being the uh, the place where Lon wants to begin his uh, troop sweep. Is where you're going to disembark. And oh yeah, it looks like the vehicle stopped there. We're still pushing through here on Russia, using the roads as best we can as best the uh, team can to get around some cities. The more roads they use, the faster they'll actually be able to go. 
because oh oh one of them's gonna try to pass nope platoon is the platoon commander is in the front vehicle the lodgy cut a corner here they're getting closer to the intended drop-off point With the uh, with the Dishka technical and the SPG technical stopped, I imagine they're just going to be looking for a chance to shoot something. And you know what? Um, the very eagle-eyed viewer might be able to spot them here. I think they're just beyond this ridge. And here we go. The uh, Russian infantry splits up. Transports uh, from here are just going to head south. BTR is going to go ahead and uh, cut the ditch right here. And lawn darts with the uh, Lodgy, he's just going to continue pushing to the, the, origi the original, uh, I guess, drop-off point. And infantry dismounted. Oh man. Just the way he runs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at that, but it's funny. Storm and, uh, Uh, Revy about ready to push the uh main highway. Whoa, there's infantry. Let's take a look at let's take a look at these positions here. I want to take a look and see where uh, Blackbeard's got himself set up because there's a lot to talk about with the position here. Yeah, Blackbeard's got himself set up on top of this hill. Get you guys ready. He separated himself. He's got himself a. Little bunch of nothing right there. He's just sitting on top of a hill. And there is the Dishka. The Shield of Dishka. Subway Samurai on the gun. And the SPG is hiding behind some uh, fences right here. Dark Lord 04 on the gun. And he's looking like pretty much north. Bartok Warrior over here, too. Let me guess. Does he have an RPG? Of course he does. The Dishka opens up. Oh, it's because Revy was... Revy crossed his squad in the open. The dish is still engaging. Ooh, real close to hitting Revy there. And looks like they're not able to figure out where this is coming from. Bartok gets in the gun. He's going to reposition the, uh, the Dishka here to try to get some more eyes on. Right now, the Dishka is simply destroying anything it sees. G982 technical, that's what's shooting at us. It's a pretty close, uh, pretty close call there. 
SPG shooting again. I think there might have been a frag rocket shot too. What is it? SPG fire another round. Lands a little far into the uh, forest. The brave soul is trying to fire back. Apparently, enough people are firing back that causes Bartok to move the technical. Londart says two squads sweeping uh, east now, sweep more southeast. Storm and Revy squads are stuck in uh, the village. Look at this. We haven't even talked about this squad yet. Jenga has a fire team. No, Jenga's not the FTL. Who's the FTL here? Nova. Has a fire team pushed out on this. Uh, on this uh, rock formation here, this is a perfect location to cover the bridge where they looks like they have a mine. Hey, Command, how far do you want three push? Ooh, and the Dishka and the SPG are now pushing. They're going to push west again. BTR now coming on the road with two. So Blackbeard is probably going to have a, a chance to get a rear shot on this BTR very soon if he continues. Yeah, I keep following the road. Modern death in the gun for the BTR with the Harv driving. Modern uh, death doing no, nothing but looking road. behind him and to his side. We'll just keep go uh, keep moving, keep moving. Codlin, so we got no ice and a BTR, not in squad. Negative. 100 meters. As well as that, we're not going to hit any mines if uh, we're not on the road. Yeah, but if. Uh, but Common Engineer is really good, he won't put it on the road. Yeah. It looks like, uh... The, uh... The technicals... Alright guys, just hang tight for a bit. Along the ring road. I am looking northeast, I just don't have my gun shield in front of me, so I can see better. Ah, oh, clever, clever. They got themselves a little bit out, a little far here. I wonder if Blackbeard is thinking about uh, pushing up behind. Guys are currently dismounted. You're going to come with me. They really only get one chance um, to jump the BTR. Five, uh, guys they got to land a square really on, so like, rear the shot and then with, the, the, gonna with the SPG. Oh, they're going to set up here. All right, so what is going on here? Blackbeard's on foot, uh, and he's left his technicals behind. Uh, so is Bartok and Blackbeard going to hunt down the um, BTR? I think they're waiting for an amb. They're setting up an ambush along this road. Is what they're going to do. All right, this commands for squads two and three. Go ahead. Two, you're going to start dealing to the southeast, following that defilade. Three, you're going to keep on pushing as far east as is safe. Once you feel that uh, there's no cover for your guys to keep moving east, have them halt. Two will keep on moving to the uh, southeast. Lundard's giving instruction. Eight, eight. The BTR and two groups of infantry are pushing along here. They're just now entering Hotel 7. Push, uh, push east as far as I can. Here comes the... Lundarts has the uh, Lodgy. He's going to move it along. Bradby's going to send a group of infantry closer to the crossroads. Over in Juliet 7. And Storm's first infantry squad. Oh, they're just sitting pretty in the middle of the mill. And Blackbeard is going to hunt the BTR on foot. That's what's happening right now. He's got Bartok. 
He's got Bartok on his side, and Bartok's like, let's go hunt the BTR. And Blackbird's like, yeah. And here in a minute, though, I imagine that Blackbeard will be given the order to not do that uh, because Russia will be very soon will be very soon taking contact. Oh, does this look familiar? Does this setup look familiar right now? It looks like round one. Except for a little bit shifted to the west. But it's generally around one. So this may even be a uh, more safe approach for Russia as they come south compared to what they had. And the BTR is right in the mix too. Uh, looks like the BTR has got a small security force it's hanging back with. Meanwhile, Fight Milk's got a fire team with a uh, liberal pundit here. They're just looking at a field, but it looks like they're starting to make some more serious inroads here to the south. Lopropp's got himself a nice security position here. Although he's pretty much on the tip of the spear. Fire team's bound into him. Oh, and guess what? They could be spotted. The closest infantry element to them is Jenga's fire team on this. Uh, actually, there's no way they're going to be spotted. I said that, but then look at all this uh, foliage. So much between these guys. Russia taking their time to get in position here. The technicals are on the move again. I think they're going to take the uh, the main seven highway here. And that would be really bad because guess what? The BTR, if they put if they push up the road here on the seven highway, the BTR really has shots on. Technicals still pushing. Oh yeah, and I think the technicals have just come to a stop. Yep, so Blackbeard and Bartok, the technicals are coming to them. I think I think Blackbeard might have seen something, but it's a pretty long way. I wonder if Blackbeard saw anything. He's getting his technicals lined up. Meanwhile, uh, the BTR and Russia have generally no uh, idea that the technicals are in position. Blackbeard's got them. The BTR puts it in gear. BTR reforming the line here. Yeah. And uh, Jenga's fire team might be getting some action pretty soon. But US still pushing out here. Command, you want me to go through the ditch, getting into that fishing village? Uh, negative, I want to stay. 
technicals have pulled back. The technicals are pulling back. So no more hunting for these guys. I don't want the BTR on the actual road. I think you said vehicle to the east. Oh, the vehicles were spotted. Oh my god. So I guess the technicals got found out pushing away. In the technicals now, stop. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. It happens. Russia getting real close to Jenga, Howler, Nova, and Grunt here. Wow, that's a call. They put sandbags out forward. They're seeing a lot of sandbags. Yep. Looks like uh, some defensive position. This is the uh, this is the militia base. Oh no, someone's already dead. Uh, Russian's dead right off the bat. Looks like maybe someone in Jenga's fire team responsible. How, how guilty does Nova look? Yeah, pretty guilty. So he's definitely hiding behind a rock for a reason. Juan, you don't want me pushing any further south, do you? Negative. Hold there. Make sure you've got Western security, Southern security. The Liberals part of the force pushed down to the right, intersection here in security. India 9. Security here. Hold on, let me get run at. Yeah. Right. Here comes a uh, round here from... Smartest just trying to uh, range a mortar down here, but Liberal and the BTR, along with another infantry squad, they're rolling down. They've gotten to the main east west highway at 9 here, like the 910 highway. I can watch both ways then. Oh. Leave Seeing uh, Russia push in two squads cutting off the west here. Guess what's west? It's Blackbeard with his squad in technicals. Oh, these guys are pushing up. Oh, no. That's an HMG firing somewhere else, but uh, 
from here and show up, please. The tentacles are getting closer to the main road here. Oh, I think they're going. Are they going off the road? Oh. Do not leave. An enemy mortar. Oh, guess what? Mortar's coming in. Grunt dies, so Jenga's fire team. Oh, it looks like uh, Nuke Dukem took a shot in the face. Uh, so they're sending mortars after Mr. Wilbur. They are using multiple salvos of mortars for one man. Meanwhile, it looks like Bartok is out, and Blackbeard is going to follow him and jive. They're going to get closer. They're going to work down the road here, I think. It's going to be dangerous once Bartok gets himself into this ditch here. Uh, okay, he's crossed the ditch now, so he can be spotted at any time if the BTR decides to uh, look west here. sure if there's infantry to cover it. Wait, Juliet, nine, nine. Yeah. Meanwhile, the force here that's at the intersection, they're focused east of them because I think Pony uh, Pony and Money Man might have taken some shots at him. Here comes the BTR. BTR moves out a little bit. Revy, we're going to try and hit these guys from, uh, from their south. I think uh, Londard's sending some mortars over now. Ooh. Alito 6 gets hit by a, one of the mortars there. And Flicker is now playing Ring Around the Rosie with uh, Jenga here. Jenga's got himself in the middle of a bush. Storm two on those um, negative line I'm getting reports. Hey, can we get a frag over there? Jenga just shooting everywhere. Wasting the entire belt. Oh, was that a, okay? Maybe that wasn't a TK. There we go. Flicker finds him. That was crazy. Uh oh. Pony and Money get a kill and they uh, they run away. And it looks like Money and Pony are going to want to take another crack at it. Guess what? The BTR is coming out. The BTR wants to play. BTR wants to shoot infantry in the face. And BTR is not looking this way, but Sloth is coming up. It's not good. Money Man might be able to get a cheeky shot here. Actually, from this... Command, if you could send some rounds at Juliet 986, I'll guide him. Roger, three rounds out. Liberal's part of this element, too. They were trying to push into this building, and now they've been redirected to the north side of the road. Liberal doing nothing but trying to watch help security here. Meanwhile, Blackbeard has closed into about 100 meters of the infantry behind the BTR. Blackbeard has a chance. He's got a real chance. And the technicals are also slowly coming up behind. 
Oh, these technicals are so ballsy. They're moving towards the BTR. The BTR moves up the road. So. They're getting closer. The BTR starts making the road. Uh, they're going to run into Money Man and Pony as they're trying to try to claw. BTR, be advised. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? North. The SPG fired? The SPG fired? Three rounds out. I heard something go whistling. I don't see them. Hold on. Oh, uh, beware dies to pony and money. BTR charges up. Uh, grenade goes off right in front of Sloth. He gets lucky. The BTR unable to see money and pony here. Oh, and Pony runs across. But guess what? Oh, the engine's gone in the BTR! What a shot! Bartok reloading. And there goes Modern Death and Harb. They suspect it was from the north, but it wasn't an SPG. Oh, Bartok not credited with the kill either. All right, the um, so maybe it was SPG uh, from the site. That actually makes more sense now. So the first SPG was fired and it missed. Oh wait, they don't have SP No, they have an SPG. Seer Chess, maybe Lord Chanka was on it? Uh, let's see. Well, Chunk has got one kill, not two. Everyone only has one death. Why don't they respawn? It's just, uh, it's just what it is. That's the way we like to play the game here. It's a one life operation. Mortar's coming in now. Squad leads now. Storm looks like a uh, salty potato or raptor force getting closer. Elite is just lying in wait for them to try to come this way. And it looks like they even have a uh, someone on the HMG. That might be a little further away. I just can't see these Yeah, I can't do shit either. I don't know what the call is. Oh, Elite just got one tap by Storm, I think. Oof. Uh, Militia Mortars. You know, I'm even looking for him. I didn't even see the smoke. If you could move east across the hmm. road, smokes and assault that location you called out after the heat land. All right, copy. So militia mortars are landing they're about they're 30 they're meters out. behind. And then we're gonna pop smoke. What they're aiming at? Get across the road, move south, and then push north up into those sandbags we saw. Juliet. Ooh, an HMG taking shots. That's a rather Scottish chap. He's got himself on top of that hill. Oh. Rounds coming in from a Scottish chap. As Peach runs around. 
Oh, Snickster. Just ate it. That might be why you don't peek at Dishka. I don't know. Oh, and there's con they have contacts We're east of them too. Real prolix with Tinkerbell and Redibus and Slab. Actually, this is not an NSA spy squad who's actually just coming in to sweep this contact away. He's got a full squad at his command. Russia is getting close though, but there's so many. There's so much militia left. Six kills for Russia, 19 kills for militia. So that's over a half of Russia's force gone. Russia knows where Russia knows where everything's coming from. And the objective here for Russia is to try to clear this out. This radio over here. And Londart's now giving out orders. The last orders he will probably give. The standing order is destroy this objective. Russians pushing in. Lots of smoke screen here as Russia pushes west of the main north south highway. Careful up there, liberal, you're alone, man. Liberal pundit part of these forces pushing west. Money Man looks like he just went down to Trey's. They're doing pretty good. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Lots of activity at range here. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on here. Maybe suppressing fire from the position. Here comes Lon trying to add some mortars. Uh, Russian mortars a little short here. Uh oh, Londart's on the mortar. It's Blackbeard. Blackbeard and Bartok warrior. They hunted down the mortar. They found it. Lon gets off the mortar. Lon's still alive here, I think. And Blackbeard outside the con outside the compound. Bartok. It's a bit further than five feet, but you know it's generally the same thing. Ooh, now is Lon darts that much of a stone cold killer to kill Bartok through this window right here? It's possible. I believe he can. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Bartok's going to come around. He's going to go back up and link up with Blackbeard. Oh, I wonder what's going on here. They're getting out? They must know the mortars in this compound, though, right? They didn't go through the center of the compound. Did they? What? We've stopped the mortar from firing, but um. Contact, uh, on our pause. Sorry, I need you to hold it. Let me know how much. Well, maybe they missed it. I think they also got retasked. They might be getting retasked to join back in defense. I think they, I think they're anticipating a bigger fight here. So far, so good. Russia losing out, though. 25 kills for militia. 12 kills for Russia. Russia getting a few back here, but that's only because they're starting to trade as they're getting in close. Oh, man. Jannings and Snowfall. Mark able to shoot some. Caught Snowfall falling back. 
There's a reload here. Russia on the ropes, but they lost a lot of people, but they could still pull it back with the with, if they start trading in their favor. Russia know where the objective is, but they're having trouble gathering forces to actually make a push. And all the while, the technical and the SPG continue to push the road. Oh, look at this. The technical's being driven backwards. Minimizing the driver's uh, danger, but sort of maximizing the gunner's uh, risk here. I think they're anticipating the BTR, even though the BTR is dead. I guess they're just, you know, they just want to get out of there and try to preserve this, uh, this uh, highly mobile element as much as they can. They've even pushed the fire. The, the, the driver just got out. What is going on? Be advised, there may be guys to my north. Russia have swept around to the north. They're taking a more northeast approach. Uh, Flicker with a GL. Looks like he's overshooting. Scottish champ is still on this HMG. He saw Flicker move. And Flicker's actually hit, I think. And, and, and the uh, militia uh, commander, Sebi, I think I just saw him run. is chasing with Dorf. They ran towards our west. Like, we can't see him anymore. We gotta move. There's a disco looking right at it. So we might want to go more east around this hill. Yeah. yeah, more east might be good. So crunchy. Yeah, I know. Sebi taking a look over here. He wants to investigate. Getting closer to the end here. Russia really down to less than 10. It's 29 kills for Militia, 15 kills for Russia. Flicker running up on Sebi and Dorf here. Oh, they're within frag range. Oh, look at this. Might have been GL. Oh, we only have GL. Oh, here comes here comes yeah, Sebi and Dorf. They're just gonna run out here. <laughs> Dorf throwing a grenade first. Okay. Get one. Oh, right on me. Peach not able to get around the sandbag. Dies to the grenade. Here comes another one from Sebi. Look at that bounce. Flicker gonna is he gonna try to shoot another uh, grenade? Okay, yeah, gotta get Did the guy that Peach was shooting yeah. at die? Go ahead. Or is he still behind that sandbag? I have eyes on their lodgies. Uh, what do you need me to do? We're gonna be creeping up here next to Dwarf. But Dwarf's going to keep him moving. Oh, Dwarf's going to go around and shoot Reppy in the side. Woof. Uh, where did Flicker go? I th uh, Flicker's dead? Question mark. I guess he is. Everybody's dead here. Looks like it's just your nightmare and Mark. And militia are now on Russia's mortars. Here we go. Militia have stolen the Russian mortars and they're going to be uh, throwing some out here. I wonder if... Well, Mark's just uh, throwing another round out here. Does he see something? Oh. Uh. Is 
Mark doesn't know. Mark doesn't know that he's the last one alive that has command comms. One life events. Once the leadership of a squad lose co- communication with command, or once the, or rather, let me start over one more time. I say this a lot, and I always butcher it. Once the leadership of a squad dies, that's it. No more command comms. It's not just passed on to another person. It's not just passed on to another person. It was, uh, it ends up. uh, Lost. I missed it. Kuba. Watching the side over here ends up uh, spotting it. And I believe that's it. I don't think there's anyone else alive. So that's it for round two. Oh, no. Was that a T? What? Is someone still alive or are we? I think we're done. I don't, is anyone else still alive? Okay, we're not. Okay, that's CG. Militia.